Well, gosh, I hope this works. Well, at least the recording. I'm just going to say this as well. I'm so glad that I did not make a huge song and a dance about this um, last battle because it's going to be a dud for, the, well, it's not going to be high intensity the way I thought it was going to be. Oh, my gosh. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, rambling around here. But I did try to at least pop in. A, look, we ended up just remember. Here's Third Army. We're going to go through it quickly. Oh, what the hell am I saying? It's the last combat. After that, I'm going to go through some wicked monster analysis and whatnot. But uh, it is a weird, over two years, man, two and a half years I've been playing this flipping game. And here it is, the last one. So it's going to be uh, the Battle of the Boog River Bridge. And um, November 26th to the 30th, 1914. And after this, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm just going to be going berserk. All right, so it's at 3908 right here. We're going after this here. This this area has been contested for ages. It's been relatively quiet lately. Uh, been, the the Austro-Hungarians have been um, essentially trying to go on either side. They obviously did. They managed to cross the river here, and I've decided to abandon this attack. I, you know, I even brought some troops uh, towards here from Third Corps, uh, but we were able to get around the river and that was the the beautiful thing at least i could uh start uh, getting uh nailing uh, the russians on this side without uh, getting affected by the river bonus we still got a minus two to the woods that's just the way it goes all right that being said so maybe it could have just stayed there i guess no no because it would have been able to use the woods because of the adjacent um hex there if i was going to tackle across there yeah and then i moved uh, the fifth core around over here and so on and so forth but uh, and these guys uh, got pushed back to their railhead that's that here we are last attack oh my god this is well I like I said it, it turned out not that's gonna be a dud we've got well even I checked afterwards it's even uh, wouldn't have mattered um, uh, if I had kept all five uh, supply points there, uh, I remember I transferred three over to Second Army, um, uh, one supply point over to uh, or two over I think to uh, Sixth uh, Sixth Corps and one to the Second uh, Second Army Direct. Um, did didn't matter. Uh, we weren't able to pull uh, push uh, Brusilov away from Stanislaw. He's just stuck there with a tiny little upper chainy brigade. And it's not going to matter when you see later on how many hits I need to uh, drive away these guys. I still wouldn't have been able to do it with the die roll bonus. So I'm giving away the cat out of the bag. The Austro-Hungarians are not going to be able to um, force a retreat to the Russians. That's just the way it is. Um, so that area is, well, it would have always been contested, I guess. But uh, I'm telling you one thing, the Austro-Hungarians sure wanted to be properly across that river and have the bridge. Nope, ain't gonna happen. So, we got BG3 here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that over there. We got the 22nd Infantry Division, the 44th, and the 1st Landwehr Brigade. Um, and you can see their strength points there. And then we got BG20 over here. There's 37th Infantry Division and the 4th Hotzendorf Infantry Division. And then uh, number 21 over there, the 2nd, the 23rd, and the 4th. And, and that was just sucked because they've got 11 strength points. So that brings them up to 4 hits I needed to force a retreat. Due to the fact that I just don't, it's because I don't have enough strength points. Even if I had be able to fully supply all those strength points right now, I cannot inflict 4 hits uh, with a minus 2 die roll penalty as far as I know. Um, this is the way it goes. Uh, so that would have been, if I could have, 5, 9, 11, uh, 13, 17, 19, 23, 27. So 27, and I would have been on a, oh, I could have. What the hell am I talking about? I should shut up. So I could have done it if I, yes, I definitely could have. So if I could have fully supplied that attack, but I could not have because I didn't have enough supply points anyways. I only had five supply, point, su five supply points left anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. I would have had to bring in some more. Just didn't do it. Uh, I just didn't have enough. 
Anyways, the most we can do right now, because I'm down to 17 strength points, I'm going to go through it quickly. I guess I can... Um, so, 3rd Army uh, Commander over here in Lemberg, um, Rudolf von Brudermann, going up against the twice promoted Anatoly Rosenshield, this guy over here, he used to, way back over there, was just a divisional commander. Uh, I ended up uh, promoting him up to a corps commander, and then uh, after I um, fired Ruski, the third uh, Russian Third Army uh, commander, and popped in Anatoly Rosenshield, and now I'm starting, he's starting to look real, real good. Because I'm like, oh my god, I thought for sure this was going to be his first little bit of screwing up. Uh, but he didn't. I'm like, oh my god. So I'm gonna, this is going to be interesting. What the hell do I do with him next, uh, um, you know, come to, uh, come January 1915? Do I give him a little bit more... Um, I'm not, I don't think I should make him a sector commander. But, I mean, still keep him as an army, but maybe a little bit more... Well, that's a pretty important section we uh trying to still go towards lemberg uh we'll see uh early days um but uh good on you man you've been a, a star for the russians that's for sure um and i'm gonna have to keep an eye on you <laughs> is what i'm trying to say okay let's go off to uh, number 16 there the russians um so these guys and you can see here the fifth infantry division the 69th reserve infantry division and the 32nd over here the 32nd infantry division are have been around the Boog River Bridge uh, or the Boog River area um, since the beginning. Um, that's actually the division with uh, Zoya Popova, uh, my uh, character that I'm doing a lot of uh, narrative with. I don't know if I, oh yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the AI generated uh, commander for the 32nd Infantry Division if you're interested. That's, um, I think I've shown him before, Yosef Ulyanov. Um, Looks like a crusty old bastard, but um, yep, that's uh, that's him. And uh, like I said, the uh, Russians are going to uh, stay put. The Austro-Hungarians, at most, can only do three um, three hits on a minus two. Uh, you can see here and there. And they could never have done four hits unless you're counterattacking. It's just the way it goes. Jeepers jumping, man. So I think I kind of set up things. The Muslim Fortress is over. Who cares about that? I mean, this is the way it goes. Oh, my God. The final combat. <laughs> oh, my God. I got that Europe song going on in my head. Okay, here we go. So, uh, like I said, this is just kind of formalities, I guess, for, like, demoralization. And I'm going to do obvious. If you, It's not just going to be a post-game report. I'm going through, going mental on this thing. It's going to take a while. I am excited as hell, though. Uh going forward and I'm sure I'm gonna have a whatever this is a strange feeling but um, yeah, it is here we go it's nice to know it's kind of anticlimactic in a in an odd way like the uh, the Boog River Bridge is gonna remain that way and it's just gonna I'm, I, I'm just excited I've been already um, oh it's been so long too uh, been printing off uh, fresh counters and just finished uh, glue sticking. I'm going to have to figure out another way of adhe uh, doing adhesives, uh, affixing the uh, paper to the, uh, the chipboard. But I just finished doing the Germans, the first hundred uh, battle groups I did the Austrians earlier. Still have to cut them out. But um, I wanna, yeah, it's exciting as hell. I can't wait to start popping everything. Oh my God, man, there's so much waiting around the corner. It's like. Um, I just got to keep the, it's hard to keep the tap, <laughs> the tap at the right flow. All right, here we go. It's a four. So I think it's probably like two hits or something. Right? Four. Um, yep, it's two hits. All right. So they'll just do two hits. No big woof. And then the other guys get a plus one. And it's unsupplied. And they are how many? 11. So that's 11. Remember, I'm not, uh, not the smartest uh, thing on the planet. So I'm going to get up my calculator. 11 divided by 2 times 3. 16 and a half, so that's 17. <laughs> oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Watch him get a 6. Well, it's a three. 
So it's up to a four, so it's two hits to, uh, no, 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 no. That was the other way around, you tit. Uh, three hits, same thing as the last one. So that's that. That's the end of the, um, technically the end of the game. I just got to do, go and calculate the demoralization points, which will not be difficult to do. Um, not by a long shot. Um, I can do it right now. Hold on. Um, so that would be, I'm pretty sure I did the numbers right. I'll check. Hold on. Remember I said I'd do a full-on analysis, so. Four ninety seven, three fifty three. Now, if I did it right, I'll see if you guys can see this. Hold on. I'll try to aim it up or something. Or okay. So it's a Russian decisive victory. Uh, the Central Powers had 150 more demoralization points than the Russians. Austria-Hungary had 157. They did pretty damn good, you know. Germany, 346. They took a, took a shellacking. Uh, the, they just couldn't get the Russians out of East Prussia, and the Russian Fourth Army went on a freaking rampage in Silesia, basically, and just nailed a bunch of towns. Uh, Central Powers at 497, Russia at 353, and the magic number was 87. What the heck does that mean? 87 was uh, essentially the, uh, the Central Powers needed to inflict 87 demoralization points in whenever, and the Russians not having any, uh, sorry, them having none inflicted on them, just to bring the game down from a decisive victory, Russian decisive victory, to a Russian substantive, substantive uh, victory or whatever. Um, so that's it. This is a bizarre. Um, what do you mean bizarre? Well, it is. I guess it's. I, I'm just. My mind is like in a. Yeah, I don't know. It just felt like it, it's just gone through a blender. I didn't even know it did. Um, yep, that's it. Uh, off we go. I'm gonna sit down, relax, um, figure out what well, I got live stream stuff to do as well. But I just I can't believe it. that's it. It's over. I can take things off. I'll take pictures or whatever and whatnot. But um, maybe I'll put everybody's armies back or something and see what. Uh, I mean, that's an idea. That'd be a lot of weird. You know, put everybody back. All right. Um, that's it. Like. I have to move forward in a, like it's, uh, what would you call it? Um, it's the after hour show. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. See ya.